Hey guys, on this video, I'm going to show you how to make a pom-pom with this pom-pom maker that I got on um, Amazon. So I'll leave my uh, affiliate link in the description also so you can see exactly what I made. I made one for like bought one that had a bunch of different sizes on it. So here, what you do is you just open up that arm and you're just gonna wrap your yarn around and you're gonna wrap it around like a million times. So you're just gonna keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on, and keep on wrapping your yarn around until there's basically no space at all. I like my pom-pom super, super fluffy. So you're just gonna keep wrapping that around until you have no space at all there. And you're going to wrap it around one side and then you're gonna cut your yarn and you're gonna go to the other side and you're gonna wrap it around the other side. So you're just gonna keep on going and going and going and by the way welcome to my channel um i'm wendy this is wendy's kooky crochet tutorial and um, i am showing you how to make a pom-pom here and if you like what you're seeing please consider subscribing guys now again i'm just wrapping this around like literally what feels like a million times just over and over and over and over again until i get it so wrapped around that you can really hardly wrap anything else around it and I'm going back and forth a little bit too. And I'm trying not to get yarn on that little flat plate because it does need to kind of set flat. So if I do that, I'm just kind of working that in just a little bit. And you see how we're in the middle, I had that space there. Now I'm just, there's no space in the middle there now. So I'm cutting my yarn here and then I'm going to close this up. So you close that side up and then you just open the other side and you do exactly what you just did. So you grab your yarn and um, you're going to keep those two pieces together and you're just going to wrap your yarn around that and just keep on wrapping it around over and over and over and over again. And you're just going to go around and around and around just like I did before. Oh, and if you're liking this video, please push the like button. That would really help me out, guys. And again, I'm just wrapping it around just over and over and over and over again until you see that I don't have that space in the middle there and that other yarn got in the way just a little bit from the other side so I just poked it in and I just keep on wrapping it around over and over and over and over again until there's just absolutely no space to wrap any more yarn around that. And there's really, there's not like there's an exact science to this. You just do it until you think you, um, till you think it's got as much yarn on it as you can really possibly get on it. So just over and over and over and over again. And then you close it up and you clip that piece of yarn off. And now what you do is you take a long piece. So I'm just cutting a long piece of yarn right there. And it's going to go all around once you, we make our cuts. So this is the hard part for me because I think I need to buy some new scissors. Um, so you're just going through the middle and you're cutting that. And I found that you can go like through the kind of the top layer and cut that top layer and then go back through kind of the bottom layer there and cut that and that cuts a little bit better. Again, maybe I need a new sharper pair of scissors. I'm not really sure, but my scissors don't seem to want to cut through both of those layers very well. I have a little bit of a hard time with this and they gave you some little handheld um, kind of scissors that came with this and that's fine for cutting single pieces of yarn but the scissors, the little scissors that come with, it does not do a good job. You actually need some pretty good scissors to cut this with. And so when you get one side done, then you go to the other side and you do the same exact thing. You're just going to cut all the way around down that middle that kind of that little slot that they have in the middle there you're just going to cut all the way um cut all the way down around through that middle there and again i have to do it like kind of one layer at a time so i have to do the top layer and then the bottom layer just because i don't know if my scissors aren't sharp enough or what probably new scissors are good i don't know what do you guys think tell me in the comments you think i just need new scissors or I don't think I can sharpen these. I don't know, maybe you can sharpen scissors, can you? Gosh, I don't know. That's a good question, huh? Can I sharpen some scissors? 
So here I'm just going again all the way around till I get all of those cut. And then when I get all of those cut, I'm going to grab that piece of yarn that I cut earlier, that long piece there that you can kind of see in the background. So I'm grabbing that long piece of yarn that you see in the background and you go right down the middle with that. So just right down the middle with that long piece of yarn. And now you're going to tie it and you're going to just tie it as tight as you can. So you're really going to need to tie this really, really tight here. And um, I've learned now that it's a good idea to make two knots in it instead of just one knot. So I'm pulling that really close and now I'm making another tying it just one more time to make a real good sturdy knot and now what you're going to do is you're going to open those two ends up so those ends you just open those up and then you're going to pry those two pieces apart so you're going to take it kind of wiggle it apart pry it apart a little bit and look i lost one of my pieces so i got to put it back together there and now i'm just going to put that back together like right like it was before I think I put my piece on backwards, so I gotta put it on the right way. So you just put it, push it back together. Right there. And you can close it back up, get it ready for storage. And now you're gonna take that, your puff that you made, and you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna go all the way around it. And you're just going to cut off all the long pieces and just kind of fluff it up. And I'm trying to put something underneath this so it'll catch all the red yarn because I don't want my background just super, super red there. Although I didn't do a very good job of it. It's still caught, like I still got red little bitty yarn pieces everywhere that I had to clean off, but that's okay. And I'm going to leave those two pieces long at the end. And the reason I'm going to do that is that's what I'm going to use on my beanie to tie around the bottom of the beanie. So here you're just going to go around. You're going to cut those longer pieces off until, until it looks right to you, until it looks the amount of fluffy, till it all looks even to you. And that's, that's really just up to you there. And um, then after you do, after you're done cutting around it, you're going to fluff it up and then, you're going to be done and that's it. That's all there is to making a pom-pom here. I always called them a puff and I still call them a puff in my videos um, sometimes, but it, this is a pom-pom maker. And guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you enjoyed um, learning how to make a pom-pom with me. Um, if you did, subscribe to my channel and happy hooking everybody. And I hope to see you, I hope to see you again soon.